Hi, this is Renetta Griffin with Iron Disorders Institute and GetYourIronUp.com. If you've had a chance to visit our site and you have taken a look at our page called Red Flags, I call it that because I want to get your attention. I've heard the symptoms and the signs of iron deficiency anemia since I was 16 years old. And believe me, that was a long time ago. And it took me years and years and years to take this disorder seriously. And really, it took me coming close to having a heart attack to take it seriously. And then it took a mutual friend introducing me to Cheryl Garrison, who is the co-founder and executive director of Iron Disorders Institute that just happens to be headquartered in my hometown. Thank you. Um, it took all of that for me to take it seriously and to realize what a toll iron deficiency anemia was taking on my health, on my life, and on my family's life. So I've put together these anemia red flag diaries to bring these symptoms to life because it's always better when you hear a story from a friend that you trust or a friend that you can relate to rather than just reading symptoms on a page. So that's the purpose of these video diaries is to bring these symptoms to life so that maybe you will recognize yourself in one of these videos and say, oh my gosh, I have some of those symptoms. I just spoke with a friend last night and she was shocked when I posted on Facebook some of the symptoms of iron deficiency anemia and she recognized herself in every single symptom that I mentioned. Always being cold, unable to stay warm, she said, I stay in the shower until the hot water's gone. And I said, I hear you because I do the same thing when my iron is severely low. You just can't get warm. In the winter, I sit in front of the fireplace as often as I can and as long as I can until I have to go do something because I can't get warm. I wear gloves and I always have on heavy clothing and sweaters and I have a small heater that I keep next to me at my computer to try to stay warm. Fatigue is another symptom. Severe exhaustion. You just don't understand why you're so tired all the time. For me, that's having to sit down or lie down every couple of hours and just not having the energy to do anything, not being able to get through the day without resting. Heart palpitations, irregular heartbeat, I talk about that in one of the other videos. Um, so if that's something you're experiencing, please take a look at that one. For me, it's simply climbing a flight of stairs and getting to the top and my heart is pounding so severely, so heavily that it feels like it's going to pop out of my chest. Um, whooshing in my ears, heartbeat pounding in my ears. I feel like it's just pounding through my eardrums and, and I, it's so loud. It's just, that's a crazy symptom. But that's one of the symptoms. That's one of the red flags. Being out of breath when you get to the top of that flight of stairs. Just can't get your breath and your heart's racing and you just feel exhausted and sick and out of shape and, and, and at a loss for what's going on. Um, another symptom that I talk about in a separate video is pica or ice eating. My friend that I spoke with last night, she said, I eat ice all the time, every day, round the clock. I know what fast food restaurants near my house have the best ice and I said, yes. <laughs> You've got to watch my video. You have low iron. I can almost assure you that you do. So she ticked off all of the symptoms and I said, please, please take this seriously because you could have a heart attack. You need to see your doctor. You need to have your blood tested. You need to know what your hemoglobin level is and your ferritin, which is your iron, your iron level. You need to know both of those. And your doctor can run these tests. Not Every doctor, not many doctors, check your iron level. It's a test that's not routinely done these days, and, and that's, in my opinion, a huge mistake because so many people are not diagnosed early, it's not detected, and it goes on for far too long. My friend who I was speaking to, she said, I've been suffering from these symptoms, you know, as we said, out of breath, heart palpitations, can't stay warm, eating ice all the time, hair's falling out, skin is drying up and, and pale, and just feeling awful. And she said, my doctor thinks I'm a hypochondriac. And I said, I know. 
And she said, he thinks I'm depressed. And I said, I know. It truly is depressing to feel that way, but it's not depression. It's iron deficiency anemia. So she's going to see her doctor because I'm certainly not a medical professional. And she's going to be tested and she's going to let me know last week what the doctor's diagnosis was. And I told her I certainly hope that it's not iron deficiency anemia, but it is easily treatable. With simple changes in your diet and possibly supplementation, <clears throat> and in severe cases, as I've uh, explained in another video, sometimes doctors will prescribe IV iron infusions, and that's something I've been through three times. Sometimes it's necessary. But the benefits are that you will feel amazing when you get your iron up. My ice eating went away after the second day of my iron infusions. I had four days of iron infusions in this most recent treatment. By the second day, my craving and my urge to eat ice was gone. And that tells me my iron's coming up. I'm not as cold as I was. I feel amazing. It's been almost two weeks since my iron infusions and I already feel amazing. I don't have to sit down. I don't have to lie down and rest in the middle of the day. It's not a chore for me to get up and get my kids up to and ready for school in the morning. It's not a chore for me to go and pick them up at school. I can get through my day without thinking, why do I feel this way? I'm starting to feel great already. So it's easy to take control of. That's what GetYourIronUp.com is all about. That's why we're here, to help you figure out what is wrong and what you can do about it. So I hope that you will tune in for some of our other Anemia Red Flag Diaries and share it with your friends and uh, try to help someone else. Thanks so much. Independent, take it to the first now.